and welcome back to my channel, Stacey O Designs. Today I am doing something a little bit different. Normally this channel is primarily about sublimation, but I also cricket. So um, I was sent this HTV Ront bundle, which was kind of exciting because I've actually never used HTV Ront and I've seen so much buzz about it on all of my Facebook groups and on TikTok, and I've never tried the brand. So I'm really excited to try this out. This is um, the accessory accessories bundle for Cricut Joy. Um, I don't have a Joy, but I did get to try out some of their products. So in this is cardstock, HTV, and adhesive vinyl. So this is the package that was sent. Um, I love the box. It's just so pretty. And it came with some basic weeding tools. So we have a scraper, a weeding tool, some scissors, and a pair of tweezers. So these are things that I use all the time. Came with a box of cardstock and envelopes and insert cards. So here is an example of the cardstock already pre-folded for little cards. I like that. Some beautiful gold inserts for the cards and perfectly sized envelopes. So there's six of these, six sets of these. And then I have a package that says heat transfer. So this is their HTV. So I have a whole bunch of HTV sheets here. And I have a bunch of adhesive vinyl. And here is some transfer tape for the adhesive vinyl. And it came with these two mats, different sizes. Are there two or three in here? There's, there's two. It has a protective coating on this one. Oh, this is your card mat. This is the card mat, and this is the regular standard grip mat. So as part of this, um, HTV Ron has given me 20 discount codes that I would love to pass on to you. So all you have to do is comment below, and I will personally send you your personalized discount code. Also, I will be putting in the description the placeholders of all the projects. So if you want to just move forward to cardstock or move forward to adhesive or move forward to HTV, all the time codes will be down in the description. All right, so let's go get started. And the first thing we're going to start with is cardstock. Okay, here's my first project for the cardstock. I have just a shape laid out in the shape of the cardstock. And then I just made a guide right here to show me the halfway point of where I'm gonna place my image. And right there is the image I'm going to cut. So I'm just going to eyeball off that background and hit make it. Okay, here it is starting to cut. And I did use the light cardstock setting. So as part of the package, it came with this cute little card mat. Um, it, it's a really great idea. So what you wind up doing is the actual mat is not sticky. There's like a little piece of acrylic on top of it and you slide your card in and fold it over and this part comes off. So this is the sticky part. 
So you slide this in and then it sticks to this and you put it into your joy. However, I did do a test and it moves around way too much in my full size machine. So I'm gonna do this project on my regular mat. So it comes with three different color cardstocks. It's a light gray, a light pink, and a teal. Okay, so I actually had to do this twice. Um, I had a little error here. It is upside down. I had an error here and I didn't align it properly. So we're just not gonna look at that part. And then I redid it here. So I'm just gonna use my weeding tool so that I don't rip anything and push these out. And a lot of times the mat will actually pull these out for you, um, but my mat is getting a little bit old. Okay, so I'm just gonna weed these and I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so now I have my card all weeded and I think it came out really cute. And I'm just gonna put this parchment paper down so I don't get glue on my workspace. And now I'm going to insert this behind it. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of glue around the edges and close it up and it'll be ready. Basically, you can put the glue wherever there's no holes. And there you go. A really pretty greeting card. All right, let's move on to the next project. Okay, so next we are going to work with HTV Ront's heat transfer vinyl. Um, so the vinyl they sent me is for a joy, so it is only sized for a joy. So I am doing a project that will just be um, like pocket sized. So I have this cute little image that I'm gonna put on a black t-shirt. Um, if I were to hit make it, each color comes up on a separate mat, which is perfect for the joy. But I have a full size machine and I can fit multiple um, HTV sheets on my 12 by 12 mat. So I just created this, I made it all black, but each one is a separate element and I'm just going to trick the machine to um, cutting it all at once for me. So when I hit make it, all three of these elements come up and I can put them separately and then put my sheet on my mat in this order. And I'll show you how. Okay, so I did get a new mat out, so it's much stickier. So my circle is four by four. And I'm, I'm going to cut four by four. So now when I hit make it, this will be the outline, this will be the waves, and this will be the sun. Okay, so now this is just starting to cut the images out. Um, don't forget to mirror. When it's HTV, you have to select mirror. And according to the HTV Ront um, instructions, I'm cutting it on, on iron-on, and I will heat press it between 300 and 320 for 10 to 15 seconds. So I already have two of the elements weeded. 
and I just want to show you how smooth this is. I mean, you have to pull a little bit. It's not completely, oops, what is that? Just like any other HTV. It is a little bit hard to see. But it cut very nice on just the iron-on setting. Um, and I do not have a new blade. So and now how I like to do this is kind of set everything up in the order that I'm going to put it on my shirt. So it's this way. That's why it's not lining up. It goes like this. And then like that. So that's the order we're going to put it in. All right, let's go press a shirt. Okay, so I am using a 100% cotton Gildan black shirt. And I'm doing a pocket logo and I measured eight down and then six from the armpit, not from the armpit, but from around the middle of the sleeve, six in. And then I found the center of my image and that's where it was placed. So I put the whole thing on. You can't press it with the whole thing on. So, but that's why we did it in layers. Okay, so I have my first two elements pressed and I'm just gonna layer with the circle on top of it. And press again. So I decided I'm only going to do for a couple of seconds just to adhere the vinyl, and then I'm going to do a final press at the end. That already feels like it's on there. Okay, so I'm just going to do one final press and We'll have a new shirt. So this one I'm gonna do for the full 13 seconds. So first, I'd like to say I love these colors. This is a blue I don't see a lot. I really like that blue. Maybe I just don't wear it a lot, but I like this blue and it feels nice and soft, stretchy. I don't see anything popping off. I really don't feel it very much. Maybe when it cools off, it'll feel like more traditional vinyl that I'm used to, but pretty good. All right, let's move on to a decal. Okay, so this is a design that I'm going to do as a decal for my golf cart, actually. Um, my son had a little accident in it and it has been a neighborhood joke that our family, we do our own stunts. So I thought this design would be perfect for our golf cart. And I'm going to use HTV Ron's adhesive vinyl for it and place it on my mat the same way I did the HTV. I created this as a group and I just duplicated it and made all of the elements black so that when, here, let me just eyeball that off, so that when I go to make it, all of the elements end up on one mat. So I know that this is black, this is black, this is red, this is orange. And I'm just going to put it on my mat the same way. So I have my colors all set up on my mat, the way that I set it up in Design Space. And I have it set to the vinyl setting. And I'll just hit cut. So I just wanted to show you actually how thin this is. I do like that it's thin. And 
I am not a huge fan of adhesive in general. Um, I always fight with it, but this is weeding so nicely. That was very satisfying. Okay, so now I have all my elements cut and weeded, and now we are going to try out this transfer tape. So I always like to kind of do this stuff on parchment paper so that it doesn't, nothing gets stuck. So I'm just gonna cut a piece big enough for my entire decal. I'm gonna do this one first, because this is straight. I like the lines on here. It makes uh, lining it up super simple. Okay, let's see how that did. One shot, that was nice. I think I'm going to need a little more transfer tape. So I like to clean with and then I use a um, coffee filter because it doesn't leave any paper residue and you get a nice clean surface. And on goes my decal. I hope this video helped you and check out HTV Runt in the description below. Have a great day, everybody.